Flash Games, an era gone but not forgotten. A time where creativity knew no bounds, where the games of our childhood lived within pixels and played within our browsers. This is the nostalgic world of Flash Games. I remember the days when coming home from school meant one thing, diving into a world of Flash Games. That or playing them in IT class when the teacher wasn't looking, until they started blocking all the sites. Websites like Armour Games, Newgrounds, Miniclip and Congregate were like magical playgrounds. They were filled with all sorts of adventures, from stick RPG to fancy pants adventures. There were some truly legendary Flash Games. In the early 2000s, a revolution was brewing. Whilst the AAA games were gaining ground, smaller more hidden sects of the internet were blooming with creativity, about to explode. This point was a cherished phase of anyone who you ask who grew up during that time, especially the experiences playing with friends, like laughing over the answers in the impossible quiz or blasting through waves of stickmen in the madness games. It'd be a crime not to mention Line Rider. You're basically an artist creating paths for a tiny little sledder, lines that would mean victory or doom for the rider. There was a bunch of cool games, like digging for treasures in Motherload. It was a constant challenge for riches, or tricking in Max Dirt Bike. But Stick RPG though was one of my favourite games. The game is so basic, but it was a masterpiece. You're dropped into a 2D city as a stick man with liberty to do anything. Pretty much a kid's dream. You can do boring stuff like attend university or join a corporation, or you can engage in criminal activities or do things you shouldn't do, or just roam the city. But every choice in the game led to a different path. Either get hung over or earn promotions and get richer. Kind of like real life. Fancy Pants Adventures had a whimsical kind of design to it though. It was one of the first web-based platforms which I played. It was kind of addictive. I have vivid memories of playing it at the library computers and searching for it in the Ask Jeeves search engine. The running, jumping and sliding. The game was stylish but super cool at the same time. It had such a memorable art style. Anyone who was anyone was put to the test in the idiot test, which would make you feel stupid if you figured you had a high IQ before playing it. This playful challenge made people question their intellect with teasing you with its puzzling questions and even the even more twisted logic. But it all paled in comparison to the impossible quiz. Even the name was a challenge. It wasn't just a test of knowledge, it was an underground meme and a brain twister. I mean, the questions didn't even make any sense. They were absurd. It wasn't really about what you knew, but how creatively you could think out of the box. And there was a boatload of frustration that came with it. The Madness games though was super chaotic, with some pure gore and mayhem. Each character in that game and each weapon was a boatload of fun and let's just say an experience, especially with faceless characters causing an absolute bloodbath, spawning an iconic franchise. But one that topped madness was the Thing Thing games. They had equally intense action with unique characters and wild battles and with different challenges. There was shooting but with an added layer of strategizing and thinking behind the levels. All of these legendary flash games just had such a cool art style to them. Then there was that whole phase of Happy Wheels. You'd be lying if you said you didn't at least play that game, and it wasn't for the faint heart. I played this one a bunch at wet break at school. It was a time during the screamer days of PewDiePie and Markiplier and the era of Happy Wheels YouTubers. This game was a brutal ride, and riding on a bike as a granny on a wave of mayhem was hilarious, let's be honest. But time moved on and technology seemingly evolved since then. With the rise of mobile gaming and viral games and apps like Fruit Ninja and Doodle Jump, new platforms and the eventual end of Flash support, it began to be overshadowed. These games faced extinction. The stakes were real lose these beloved games and we kind of lose a piece of internet history. The era of smartphones and more modern platforms marked a turning point though, as people could now play games on the go. Flash games were still mostly rooted in a desktop experience, so they found themselves at a crossroads. Adobe announced the end of Flash support by 2020, which was a hammer blow, making a slow starvation of Flash and its legacy as browsers began to slowly disable support for Flash and the lights began to dim. Of course, with such a legacy and so many shared experiences, there were efforts to preserve such gems by converting them from flash relics into more modernised formats. After all, we can't let the Thing Thing games fade away, can we? Flashpoint, a tool by Blue Maxima, is an incredible effort for maintaining the history of these flash games. There are literal thousands of different games, animations and works built on flash that have been maintained in a treasure trove of sorts for anyone yearning to relive their golden era. This tool is pretty simple to use and it's constantly updated. Think of it like a living museum of sorts, a relic of gaming history. Another tool called Ruffle is basically a Flash emulator. It's a project that emulates Flash content within modern web browsers without needing
needing to install old versions of Flash, letting devs and site owners be sure that their old Flash based content is actually still accessible, breathing new life into old sites like Newgrounds. This software lets you directly open .swf files to play them and there's many plugins for browsers like Chrome that are built on it. And of course there's the handy tried and true old method of pairing it with using the Wayback Machine on the Internet Archive website to discover some of your favourite old games. So what was your favourite Flash game from your childhood? Do you miss Flash or did you never play it? Let me know in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe, it means a lot and I'll see you real soon.